All right, you guys, welcome to our team win meeting. It's April 9th. We are in conference month. Yay! Um, I'm going to ask you guys for background noises, but if you. Am I muted? <laughs> I was trying to make sure I was muted. You're not muted, but I'm uh, all my children are going to be running in soon, so mute okay. me, please. Okay. So, anybody, if you guys want to talk, um, then you can just unmute yourself. So, um, but I, yay, hey, Jess. Um, drive safe, Jess. <laughs> um, well, I guess what I'll start with is to introduce Mary Jo. Hey, Mary Jo, welcome. Mary Jo um, lives in South Florida, and she is married to Daniel Sage, who is the owner of the um, physical therapy practice that Evelyn works at. And Evelyn, I think, is going to join us. I know, obviously, she'll be on One Simple Change, but hopefully she's able to join the team call as well. Um, but anyway, so Mary Jo's just getting started, and she is so much fun. She's How long have you been a stay-at-home mom? Oh, you're, you're muted. Hold on. Let me unmute you. How, how, how long was it? 30 years. She's been a stay at home mom for 30 years. And, and what was it that you said? You said you finally feel like you're doing something important. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, being, yeah, being a stay at home mom is incredibly important. Incredibly important. <laughs> it's fun to find that passion and purpose in your life. Um, it, exactly. It's too late. Yes. Awesome. Well, welcome. We're so excited that you're joining us. Thank you. Is there anybody else new? I don't think so. I don't think anybody else brand new is is jumped on yet. Um, any promotions that we can celebrate that we haven't celebrated yet? I know we have a bunch, but um, I don't know if we, I think we've announced them all. Okay, good. Um, well, let's just Go ahead. And um, I mean, I just want to say congratulations to you guys on a great business month. Um, you know, we, I should have counted out, up how many new team members we had um, in the month of March, but it was a lot. So great job inviting people into our mission. And, um, you know, we had a lot of new customers. I think we had over a hundred, almost about 150 new customers in the month of March on our team. Um, so that's awesome. 150 people getting healthier. Yay. And um, so, yeah, and we're, we're going into conference month. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But first, what I'd love to do is introduce um, Amanda Aranda and Julie Krause. And they are both going to share their stories with us so we can get a little bit um, more familiar with them. And so, Julie, if you want to introduce Amanda and tell us a little bit about how you met her. And, um, and then, Amanda, you can share your story. And then, Julie, you can share your story. Does that sound good? Okay. So you guys can- Okay, I think it sounds good. <laughs> okay, can you hear me? All right, awesome. Okay, so Amanda and I actually crossed paths at the Y. I think that's where we first met because we both are homeschooling moms. I, I'm gonna take this off so I'm not yelling. I don't know if I'm yelling or not. Um, but we crossed paths at the Y and I don't even remember if I mentioned if she- was telling me about her kids being sick or if it was about her but I remember like mentioning juice plus a couple of different times to Amanda and she was always kind of interested um, but never really ready to pull the trigger until recently and then when she pulled the trigger she was ready um, and Amanda is on fire now um, and I'll let her tell you about just kind of what juice plus has meant to her so far Amanda are you on here Oh yeah, am I on? Am I, I think you need to I, unmute yourself. Click on oh, your I face. See. Can you click on your face? You're unmuted. Whoops. And then you should see audio. Unmute there now. There you go. You're good. Oh, awesome. So I am super excited. I am having so much fun. It is ridiculous. I've actually got my first paycheck. And I'm, I'm just like, wow, I really didn't do anything but just have an amazing time being able to talk and share with everybody. I can't stay quiet. It's like, the, it's just so exciting. Like, I don't feel bad about I, at all on sharing. I almost feel like I'm like saving the world or something. I know that sounds silly, but I'm like, I, I feel like I'm all about building my team. 
like all of my customers that I I have, I'm in contact with them every day. It's like such an opportunity to be able to not just like get them on Juice Plus, but actually have a team and and really have a sense of community. And I just really feel like it's so incredible what I'm able to start building. Um, I don't know where else to start, I guess. <laughs> Other than that, I'm super excited. Tell us a little bit about um, your own family's experience. And, and I mean, I know you've only been on Juice Plus for a couple weeks, but um, you did the shred or you're doing the shred. So tell us about that. Um, well, it's been probably um, a month now. Well, three and a half weeks. And honestly, when I first, I, well, I think I was a believer right, right away just because I knew that it was actually um, going to be putting like real food in my body. But I didn't realize how good I could actually personally feel. Like, I, I think I believed it, but I didn't really know like what it felt to feel so great. And like, I'm not fibbing, like it's amazing. I have more energy now personally, cause I, in my house, I'm the one that's taking the shakes every day and taking my capsules every day. And I honestly, it's only been three weeks, but I feel a hundred percent better. Like I have more energy. I'm not constantly craving all this junk food that I've really craved for years. Like you can ask Julie, the boys, I picked them up from practice. They just got finished running track and they're like mom can you take me to McDonald's and I'm like really <laughs> so we're like cutting all those things out of our lives it's like almost like a addiction and a habit that we had and with juice plus I've literally been able to break those chains off of my life um, and I know when I hear myself saying this I almost feel like it's too good to be true but it's true <laughs> so that's incredible. And you're doing such awesome things for your, I, your boys too, by getting all this nutrition in, you know, it's I almost, yeah, I almost feel like I have to tell people I'm not fibbing you. This is for real. This is really happening and it's really changing my life. Like it's not a joke. I'm like, Oh my goodness. So. Well, Amanda, you have to tell them not only about the fact about them wanting to go to McDonald's, but your, Subway success story, I guess, is what we could say. I have so much strength personally than I've ever had in my life. Um, <laughs> I took the boys to Subway because they were begging. As you can tell, we love to eat out. <laughs> so it's been a really bad habit of ours. Um, but I took the boys for Subway um, for lunch today. And I'm like, I had my shake in the morning. Um, and I had my capsules and we went to work out at the gym, which is amazing for me. Um, and so we go into Subway and I'm like, I'm not going to eat Subway. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to go home. I know that we have food at home. This is something you guys want. And I sat there and I was perfectly content and satisfied. I wasn't freaking out with all these cravings and just all of this pressure and I sat there and I let the boys eat, eat their lunch and I went home and I had my shake and a little bit of tuna fish with some veggies and I've been good to go all day that's awesome Congrats. like it's incredible yeah it's willpower the shake is is liquid willpower that's so awesome well, it feels amazing like I I when I hear myself talk I'm like yeah right I can't believe this is coming out of my mouth <laughs> but it's so it's so true so and Amanda, it's awesome. and Amanda, I just want to give a shout out because Amanda is also coming to conference with us. So she is going to be in Phoenix with us. Um, and that is a big deal for you to book that plane ticket and fly by yourself and, and go to Phoenix. And um, we're just so excited that you're going to be there. It, it's making me a healthy wild woman, Juice Pluses. <laughs> I'm flying on a plane. I'm talking to people. I'm having so much fun. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> awesome thank you so much for sharing um okay julie go ahead and tell us your experience okay well i just want to say that um okay so i've been with juice plus since 2013 and i did not start out with the attitude that amanda has as far as any of it went so michelle um howell who is carmen's best friend since seventh grade 
Um, she is my husband's cousin. So without this getting too like complicated of husband, husband's brothers twice removed, all of that, um, she is the one that told me about Juice Plus. And I um, have kind of a unique upbringing in that my mom had ulcerative colitis and so do I. Um, and I knew from just things that I knew that vitamins were not something that um, your body uses, really. Um, I knew that they come out undigested, you know, in your waste product. Most people don't actually have visuals of that, but I did um, because of the ulcerative colitis in our family. And so when Michelle was trying to tell me about Juice Plus, she didn't even know that we had this history in our family. She just knew that pretty much anybody, you know, that could swallow or even not, honestly, should get this nutrition in their bodies. And so she shared it with me, but I didn't get it. I just thought it was just another vitamin. Um, and I really didn't want to hear anything about it. Um, I would listen to her. Well, I would hear her maybe while she was telling me about it. And then I wouldn't see her for another six months because she was living in another state. And it would be, you know, like it didn't really click with me until like the fourth time that she told me about it. And it wasn't because she um, pulled it in a different way or anything. It was because my mom, bless her heart, was working at chiropractor's office and said, um, hey, have you heard of Juice Plus? And so it was like that second person of saying Juice Plus maybe is a, you know, something that made me listen to Michelle closer. And I did. And then when I learned that, you know, it's fruits and veggies, it's not synthetic, that there's research behind it, we let her come and actually tell us about it. So her and her, her so my husband and I sat and listened to her presentation. Um, and he, you know, he's, he's a, um, a nurse. And so he's got that clinical background that I don't have, although I'm super skeptical to, about pretty much everything. Um, he said he wanted to look at the the research. So she literally brought out the research, a packet of, you know, this many papers of really boring stuff. And he looked at it and was like, well, it can't hurt. Um, and at that time, you know, we were just going to get on it just because it can't hurt. Um, fast forward then to two years, you know, down the road. Now, not right off the bat, right off the bat, I did feel more energy and I, my nails would grow like crazy, which was super annoying because I hate long nails, um, but that's a whole nother, <laughs> whole nother story. Um, two years down the road was when um, my ulcerative colitis symptoms were improving and I have not gone on any medication since. So it wasn't like I didn't start off like Amanda's thinking of thinking like this is, I just have to tell this to everybody. I've got a gift to tell people. I didn't think like that because I honestly was just like, maybe, maybe not, whatever, we'll try it. Um, and it wasn't until something kind of shocking like that happened for me that I realized that this is something that I totally should be telling people. So um, I just want to encourage you that um, you never know who you're going to, who needs this. People don't tell you that they have ulcerative colitis. People don't tell you that they have a kid that, you know, has low muscle tone and can't poop, hasn't pooped for you know, needs to be given a suppository. People don't share these things. So you just don't be shy about who you might be helping, you know, with this. But I wanted to read something to you guys. Um, oh, and I have a visual that I now, you know, I say, say people don't um, tell you these things. Well, now I do. Now, this is part of my presentation. That's my colon. You know, so I can tell people, this is what happened to me. Um, but there was something that, okay, so this, this is a sheet of paper, half cut off, that is just kind of a good reminder. Um, this was in Parade Magazine in March 2007. So it's way old, but still really, um, I don't know, it stuck with me. So I wanted to read it to you. Um, and it's, you know, kind of more for everybody as opposed to just, you know, somebody that has a chronic condition. Um, but it says, you know, your body is made up of trillions of cells that live mostly for weeks or months, die, and are replaced by new cells in an endocycle. For example, your taste buds live only a few hours, white blood cells live two days, and your muscles live about three months. Even your bones dissolve and are replaced over and over again. A, a few key stem cells in each organ and your brain cells are the only ones that stick around for the duration. 
all your other cells are in constant, a constant state of renewal. You replace about 1% of your cells every day. That means 1% of your body is brand new today, and you'll get another 1% tomorrow. Think of it, of it as getting a whole new body every three months. Viewed that way, you're walking around in a body that is brand new since Christmas, which is about perfect because this was in March. Um, you have new, you'll have new lungs, new liver, new muscles, new skin. Look down at your legs and realize that you're going to have new ones by the 4th of July. Whatever that body, whether that body is functioning younger or older is a choice that you make by how you live. You choose whether those new cells come in stronger or weaker. You choose whether they grow or decay each day from then on. Your cells don't care which choice you make. They just follow the direction that you lead it in. And that was something that I came across that is something that um, I feel is totally a gift to people. So people say, like, is this, you know, this juice plus, is this going to take the place of my, do I not need to eat my broccoli anymore? Well, no, it's supposed to bridge the gap between what we all know we're supposed to eat and what we actually do. And it feeds your cells. And that is the thing, like we have micronutrition in our Juice Plus capsules. And then we have macronutrition to keep you from eating at Subway. So it is a win-win. And I just want to encourage everybody to not be shy. And the other thing is to find a buddy. Because when you find somebody like Amanda and her tiny little dog, who's apparently now in the meeting, um, it makes a huge difference. Um, I had my friend, my uh, cousin Jennifer, who's on here too. Um, I have a huge relationship with her, and I'm gaining this relationship with Amanda because these two said yes. Well, all three of us said yes to the Juice Plus company. Um, you know, same with Carmen, all of these people. It's just an amazing family that we're just really lucky to be you know, a part of. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for reading that, Julie. That is so, it really does. That that make, pushes me to make good choices every day when I think about that. And I think, you know, you really are what you eat. And so don't be fast, cheaper, <laughs> what's, what's the other one? Processed, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I love that. And I, I never get tired of hearing your story. And I've been able to, of course, watch Julie have this, this transformation and, and see her health improve. And, um, and it's just such a gift. And I absolutely agree with what you say, which is find a buddy. We get that from Jay Martin, our, the president and founder of our company. You know, he always says, every time he speaks, he says, find a buddy. And that is absolutely the truth. This business is so much more fun when you have someone to lock arms with and to go have fun with, you know, if you're having fun sharing this message, you'll do it forever. You know, if you make it into a job, you know, nobody wants a job, right? We want something that is, you know, fulfilling that gives us passion and purpose, but that's also that we enjoy doing, you know, they say, if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. And that's truly how I feel about my juice plus business. I love, love, love what I do every single day. And, um, you guys are the, my biggest blessing in this business is having all of you to share this with me. So, um, that being said, we have about five more minutes. And before we hop on over to our next Zoom line for our one simple change, um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about goal setting because we are in, um, you know, we just finished out our March business month and um, we're looking forward because we are in our conference month. Okay. So you guys, we have two conferences a year, um, one in the spring and one in the fall, and they're always about six months apart. And so every time we have a conference, it's a perfect time to take a look at where you are today and where you want to be in six months and to set that goal for where you want your business to be, you know, what title do you want to be at? What do you want your income to be? You know, what, what are your goals moving forward? And some of you might have goals to move fast and other of you, others of you might be content to maintain what you're doing right now. And that's okay because we absolutely say and mean when we say that you're a blessing, whether you do a little or a lot. But for those of you who really do want to build this and move forward, those of you who really want to, you know, live our mission and spread our mission of, you know, inspiring healthy living, myself and all of the leaders on our team really are so very invested in helping you get there. 
So I want to encourage all of you to take some time to think about where do you want to be in October when it's time to go to Tampa? Um, because who, who doesn't want to go to Tampa? Everybody wants to go to Tampa, Florida in October. I know I, I will definitely be there. Um, I think we need to rent a beach house and have a super duper really good time. Um, so think about where do you want to go? You know, conference is way more fun when you have stuff to celebrate. So let's make some stuff happen. Let's make some really good stuff happen in the next six months. So with that goal in mind, um, I have put together a smart goals, uh, Google form, and I'm going to put the link in our team win Facebook page, and I will also send it out over Voxer, but I would love for everybody to not just fill it out, but put some thought into it. You know, really put some thought into, you know, where do you want to be and what are you willing to do to get there? You know, because this this is a business and while it's not really a job, it is a business. And, you know, um, you have to put effort in, in order to grow it. You know, you can't just sit and hope and wish that, you know, customers are going to walk through your door, that customers are going to, or, team members are going to, you know, tap you on the shoulder and say, Hey, I want to do this with you. No, we have to go out and make some stuff happen. You know, we have to do events. We have to tell our story. We have to, you know, fill up our calendar. We have to build into relationships and, and, you know, all of those things, we have to do that. And we have to do it on a regular basis. You know, we can't wait till August to achieve a goal that we want to, you know, lock in by the end of September, you know, it starts today. And so I'm going to put that in our Team Win Facebook page. I would love for you guys to think about where you wanna go and fill it out. Um, the results will come back to me and then I will share it with your upline, like if Michelle, um, or you're on Michelle or April's team, I'll make sure that they see that. Um, they're the QNMDs, other QNMDs on our team. Um, so I'm really excited to see what you guys put on there and to really dig in and come up with some great plans of how to, how to make that happen. Um, I just want to remind you that, um, we are finishing up our April shred on Wednesday, but it's the perfect time to be promoting our next shred. And so, um, you know, be reaching out to the people who are shredding with you this, this month to see if they want to join us again next month, but also to see if they have any friends who they'd like, who they've talked about the shred with who might want to join us. You know, we are going to have a Facebook page or Facebook party next Monday. It's going to be an all day party. So they can kind of tune in as they are on Facebook and check out the posts. If you have a great shred story, or if you have any shred story and you want to do a live video, if you're willing, I should say to do a live video, in that Facebook event, will you please private message me and let me know that I'm making a list of people who um, will be able to do that. And then, um, and yeah, so let's really promote the heck out of that. And then not next week, but the week after the 23rd of April, we're going to be doing a one simple change. I'm sorry, this is one simple change. We're going to be doing a join our mission um, Zoom event, just like the one simple change that's coming up in a couple minutes. Um, but this one is just going to be to invite to our team. So that one simple change presentation does have some product belief building in there. Um, but it is an invitation to, to join the team. So, so know that that's a business event And April. Um, Barnett is going to be leading that. So thank you, April. And, um, does anybody else have anything they want to share before we hop off and head on over? Amanda, let me unmute you. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, I was just thinking, just kind of following up with what Julie said. And I just, for me, like the opportunity that this is giving me, like on the business side of it, to build relationships with people and like have a community. It's just, it's really been amazing. And I, I don't know, I had a, another point that I wanted to make, but it kind of slipped my mind. But honestly, um, like just with her and I, we have all these plans and all these things that we want to do and like piece by piece, it's coming together. So it's just a really exciting time. So I am so thankful to be here with you guys. Awesome. Well, we are going to celebrate for sure in Phoenix. So, all right, you guys. Um, so we're going to hop off and then here, I'll just, if you guys want to write down, if you don't have the Zoom number in front of you, it is 453-981-141. That is our next Zoom room that we're going to hop on over to to join that one. And I will see you in a couple minutes. Bye. Bye.